it's Valentine's Day. And what did you get me? special episode of after dinner here with miss velvet cake i wanted to do a valentine special i know i'm a little late i had a lot of stuff i had to do this week a lot of last minute orders of course it is valentine's day just not only do we do special orders for individuals but we also do orders for companies so i had to make sure that my commercial businesses we're straight. I'm doing a cake that has always been requested that I never got a chance to do, but now I'm doing it today because I felt like, you know, pink, love is in the air, cheesecake, all the other stuff, everything goes together. So instead of doing a red velvet or a pink velvet cheesecake, I decided to do a strawberry cheesecake, cake, cake, cake. Now the reason why I'm putting so many cakes behind it is because I really don't know what to name it because it's really not just a strawberry cheesecake because when you think about strawberry cheesecake you think about cheesecake with strawberries on it I don't know but anyway I'm gonna come up with my own name so I went on ahead and demo it and I'm gonna get right into it stop the video okay so I, like I said I had so much to do I was really really busy that I forgot to show you all after I mix the batter what else goes into it so after I put my strawberry gelatin in there with strawberry jello in there I did my flour I doubled the recipe because I had another strawberry order that order that had to go out so um it was four cups of flour four cups of sugar 
Um, also for eggs, I think it was, I'm trying to do this off of memory. Three teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, mix that up. Uh, I put strawberry daiquiri in it. I also put milk in it. I bake it at a temperature of 350. Uh, la, 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 la. What else? Um, I bake it for about 25 minutes. And then again, I don't ever put a timer on myself. I always go off a of smell. And I try to under bake it just a little bit so that way it can still be moist. And what else? And then I put it in the freezer to chill. And then let's go back to the video. right into it strawberry cakes cheesecake layer strawberry on the top it's not a pink velvet but it is a strawberry cheesecake cake 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 that's what I'm gonna name it anyway um as you all could see I was having the hardest time icing it and I'm thinking the reason why is probably because the cheesecake like the outside of it kept like ripping into the icing and I try to get my icing really, really smooth and just a nice little sharp corner, even though sometimes it doesn't happen like that. So, you know, to you all, it probably looked damn good. But to me, it was like, oh my goodness, I got to get it magazine ready. What's going to happen? So anyway, let's just dive on in. Okay, first I'm going to taste the strawberry layer. And I use vanilla sour cream, like a buttercream with sour cream in it. Okay. I can't even front. I know what my strawberry cake tastes like. It's pretty good, so this is good anyway. Now let's try the cheesecake separately because this is another recipe. This is a different recipe. Okay. Pretty good. 
as you all can see i got the cake up here now there's strawberries in the middle of each layer so let's try the strawberry cake with the icing with the cheesecake with the strawberry let's do that combination Mm. That's good. That's damn good. Let me get one more piece. Oh god, that is good. I think I would have liked this better than the pink velvet. That's just me. Mm-hmm. And see that cheesecake got that icing. It's kind of made of the cream cheese icing. Well, in conclusion, I think this is a great dessert. Um, just make sure, if you're like me and like to put your desserts in the freezer, make sure they unthaw at least over, I would say, an hour and a half because the cheesecake is still frozen. The cakes itself, especially if it's moist and fluffy, they don't stay frozen long. So if you have to make this dessert and you put it in the freezer overnight, you're going to have to let it stay out an hour and a half or more because the cheesecake part is going to still be frozen while the cake itself is unthawed. Or if you're not going to put it in the freezer, put it in the refrigerator is good also. Just know that that freezer will make the cheesecake harder. Also, you may have a difficult time icing it like I did because there's no outer crust. I didn't put an outer crust to the cheesecake. So when I was trying to put the icing on the outside, some of the cheesecake did rip into the icing, which made it a little bit difficult and presentation was a little rocky. It didn't look, to my, to my opinion, it didn't look the greatest. But I decided to spruce it up. We did what we could do. And it is what it is. I wouldn't necessarily keep this dessert outside in the heat because it's a cheesecake. And, you know, the health department doesn't want you to keep cream cheeses outside for a long time. So I definitely wouldn't do that. But um, I, to me, it's a good dessert. I would probably serve it as an after-dinner dessert because it is after dinner. A birthday dessert, especially if it's in the inside. Like I said, if it's on the outside, watch it. I would probably put it on ice. I probably wouldn't put it outside at all. I just don't want that cream cheese and the heat and bacteria and all that other stuff definitely visit you know your food um safety websites just to see what i'm talking about but yeah i like the dessert and make sure you eat it with friends because you can't eat all of this by yourself it's kind of rich you can either do this with pink velvet strawberry eat it. strawberry <laughs> i will see you all on the next episode of after dinner definitely join me velvet cake like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and if you have a dessert that you would like to see me demo definitely leave it in the comment or on my Facebook page, Velvet Cake LLC. Talk to you later. Velvet Cake LLC. Mm -mm -mm -mm.